Hello and welcome to Matrix Live. My guest today is Carlos, Technology Partner Manager at Moodle, and he's here to talk about Hi. Matrix integration in Moodle. Carlos, welcome. Um, can you briefly introduce Moodle for the audience who might not be familiar with it? Yes, thanks, Tip. Uh, there was a bit of a froze, so I was like, should I speak now? Uh, <laughs> Carlos here. Uh, Moodle is an open source learning management system, which means it's a piece of software that we publish and that helps teachers communicate with students typically to give them training material, to give them assignments that they have to deliver, to collaborate. They can work together. They can even assess each other in what is called co-assessment. There is a, quite a number of sophisticated actions all towards uh, the learning of students, and I would say another a specificity of Moodle is that it treats users uh, in a like users can be teachers on some courses and they can be learners in some other courses. So it teaches it, it treats users as learners, all of us kind of like we are all potential learners of things. All right. Um, and uh, the reason why you're here on, on the Matrix Live show is um, because you started added, adding a Matrix integration in Moodle. Um, so Matrix can do a lot of things, uh, but uh, for Moodle, you focused on the instant messaging bit, right? Yes. So this is a first step. We hope this integration will get better. But we have started by taking away a self-grown chat that we've had for many, many years and no one ever used and finally integrating something professional. And what we've done is uh, first provide an API for all tools to be able to connect in the instant messaging space. And most importantly, create already one that goes out of the box and is ready to use. If you have a matrix server, uh, you can start enrolling your teachers and students and learners in your courses and automatically creating matrix rooms in these courses, either for the whole course, for groups of students within this course, or for other groupings that we have across the platform, so across the whole institution that we call cohorts. All right, um, so let's see how it looks like in practice. So what we see is you can enable the communication providers and then enable the matrix plugin. Um, you need to specify uh, the name of the matrix instance um, in the settings. So if you go to the settings, you can set the home server URL and the element web URL. Um, this is the instance that it's going to link to uh, for students who want to use matrix from a room. Um, so once your matrix instance is configured, uh, it's it's happening at the course level. For each course, you uh, go to the options um, and for communication, you can then add matrix as a provider. And uh, once you have set matrix as a provider, you can set a room name and topic and uh, Moodle is going to automatically create the room and invite users um, in that room. All right, so uh, the next question I would have is, is Moodle shipping with an embedded matrix server or do you need to have a matrix server already deployed uh, to use with Moodle? It's not shipping uh, today. I, I don't know if it will in the future. So today it simply lets you connect, uh, adding your keys and your, I don't know how it works, your URLs or your uh, like API secrets. And you simply need to have a, uh, Moodle on your on your server, Matrix on your server, or an Element server, whatever you want it, and you connect both simply. All right, so it's uh, it's an integration uh, between an existing server and and Moodle. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so th the next question that phrases for me is uh, that Moodle uh, has its own uh, users database, like you know all all the students and teachers, etc. How does it work uh, on the Matrix side? Uh, do you cr create the users on Matrix? Do you invite them? Uh, how does it work? Mm -hmm. So first of all, it is an integration from the, the last thing you were saying, uh, but it is an integration that unlike most integrations that happen at Moodle, ships with core. So whenever you download Moodle from the website, you already have the ability to plug in a Matrix server very easily. and for the user creation, essentially, 
as Steve was saying, we have all the users in the database because there is quite a sophisticated user management and role management in the tool. And with this, we, if, if they, they are invited to join rooms, essentially, if they have a user, probably that they can open that with their uh, client, with their app. And if they don't, they're just sent a, an email and invited to, to create a, a user or to download the app or however it happens in, in general, I would say. All right. So um, since you can have your own, um, your own matrix server uh, that you couple to, to Moodle, and you can use any matrix client to connect to, well, matrix, because it's just vanilla matrix after all. Um, are mm -hmm. the server, is it possible to, um, for the server to be um, federated publicly, like for example, federated with matrix.org or with other organization server? You catch me there. I would say, I don't know the implications of that need. I would say, as you say, like we we are using the vanilla protocol, so to speak. So whatever you can accomplish on in general, you should also be able to accomplish. Okay, so if you don't add any uh, uh, additional restrictions, then in that case, it should be possible when you are connecting to a, um, a room that Moodle routes uh, you to, it should be possible to invite other people in addition to that, even if they are not in that specific open server. So that would be a use case to enable mm -hmm. uh, more collaboration potentially between universities, et cetera. So that's a that's very interesting use, use case you have here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I would say Moodle has a, a project, more than a project, that is called MoodleNet, that is, mm -hmm. is exactly a place where to share open educational resources. And obviously, again, like people can share what they work, they can share what they're doing, but they cannot speak. So that would be another place where we could have matrix integrated and it would be nice, a nice experience for everyone. I would say Moodle allows you from your learning management system to upload to this repository of open educational resources. And it allows you to download resources from there and integrate in your Moodle. So the same, the same versatility from Moodle LMS to MoodleNet could be established also with Matrix and MoodleNet, I would say. Right, it's, it's really exciting to see for me because uh, I see in the public sector, Matrix is, is fairly popular, uh, particularly in Europe. You, you can see you have governments um, who have deployed their own Matrix instance, sometimes their own flavor of Matrix, uh, which is Matrix compatible. Um, and you can see there are discussions to start federating between governments. It would be very, very nice to see the same thing um, happening in all the sectors uh, in the public sector and education in particular is very interesting. I know in Germany, Matrix is quite popular. We can see very many universities already have a Matrix instance um, in Germany. It would be really exciting to see that spread really mm -hmm. worldwide. And um, I'm Absolutely. particularly excited to see the integration with Moodle to have a very tight integration between the courses and the discussions. I would say probably the happening. same... Sorry, you froze there for a second and I may have spoken right. on top of you. Um, no I was I was about to say probably the same government and for the same reasons that are implementing Matrix, they have very often chosen already Moodle as well. And Moodle is also extremely popular in, in governments, in regions, in, in lands, as they, they call the German regions, uh, where they provide Moodle to their universities or to their secondary education institutions to their high schools. So I would say probably there is an extremely, an awful lot of alignment, so. Right, a lot of things to do together um, um, to conquer the world with open source uh, for education and the public sector. Um, the question I have, I want to get back to what we talked about uh, a little while ago. So you, you told me that Moodle used to have a, an embedded chat client um, and now you're relying on Matrix. Right now, as we have seen in the demonstration, uh, it's mostly about linking together um, um, a matrix server and Moodle and making sure that people can be invited in the right room and find the right room. Do you have plans to have a deeper integration in Moodle, like an integrated chat, uh, so you don't leave the course and just have a, a sort of pop-up at the bottom of, uh, of uh, your window where you can chat, or is it something you don't plan for now? 
So that is obviously something that has been analyzed because it was our current situation, as you said. That wasn't very successful, so there is not yet a decision on if we need to go down that route, and it was actually our own self-grown chat that was not good enough, but people would use it in that way, or if the learning place is not a place where you want to chat. There is also this drive that we have been pursuing of trying to make the learning experience a bit more zen in the sense that we take from the user interface a lot of elements that you can call but that are by default are not presented to you so you can focus on your content and there is even a content mode um, in this sense it is a question worth analyzing and probably there will be a lot of user research and focus groups and so on before we make a move on that so today, obviously, it's in the landscape. It's not uh, decided on. All right. I, I really appreciate uh, that approach. You used a term I like, and I would like to see more in open source, which is user research. Um, even as a matrix person, I like that you are not jamming matrix everywhere for the sake of having chat because it works, mm -hmm. and that you are really mindful about um, the, the experience uh, for people, especially in the case of learning. It's uh, very important to be focused on what you are doing. Um, mm -hmm. Next question, of course, is it available for everyone? Can I get it? Sure. So Muro can be downloaded from Moodle.org, and it ships with uh, this ability to connect to Matrix, so. All right, fantastic. So Go it's ahead. already already uh, released in the world in, in a public version of Moodle. If I have Moodle, I can, the latest update is going to have it. Yes, we're like in, in one month, we're gonna ship a new miner, but in the one that we shipped five months ago, because we ship twice a year, uh, it is there and you can start using it straight away. All right, fantastic. Is there anything else we forgot to cover? Anything else you want to say to the audience? No, I think this is a, an exciting time for us. We we have been doing this move with several pieces of software. Like we also had a rich text editor, self-grown, the next mistake, we just dropped it. And we now, I mean, we always kept uh, several options because Moodle has many millions of users and all the possible variations of and combinations of, of uh, parameterization are there. But uh, I think this is a move, this is a step in the right direction for everyone. And I think, as you were suggesting, if it allows for an ecosystem that is already quite open to collaborating internationally and, and that they are used to exchanging and to inviting one another to conferences and things, if they can have a more day-to-day -day collaboration and improve their their output of their work and, and give value to these users, that that is an amazing thing we can do together. All right. Well, really excited to see what you are doing with uh, with Matrix in Moodle and really excited to see where Moodle is going in general. Uh, thank you very much for coming, Carles, and I'll see you around Matrix Live. A pleasure. Thank you, Tiff.